Hi, this is Carl Thompson. Today I'm just doing a quick demo of the ShadowSafe Virtual Boot. So what I have here is the ShadowSafe dashboard. What I'm going to go and take a look at is the machines that I'm currently protecting. I've got an agent here. Uh, this is a host-based uh, backup of a VMware machine. Uh, here's a couple of Hyper-V machines, uh, virtual machines running the agent, uh, as well as some physical servers running the ShadowSafe agent as well. So these are all being protected with an SLA driven policy. Uh, if we take a look at this, it is uh, a frequency uh, of every 15 minutes um, that it is doing the backups to a local NFS share, and then it is replicating daily to an offsite uh, location. So that is the, the policy that's managing the whole SLA of the backup uh, retention and replication. And then in terms of recovery, basically I can go in here and select a machine. So I'll select this physical server. And then I need to choose a recovery point, so I'm just going to select the most recent one here. And then we select the target machine of where we recover to. So obviously normally a physical server, I would have another server booted off the recovery agent and do a restore from here. Um, but in this instance, I'm going to show you how we can do an instant restore directly into vSphere and Hyper-V. So with vSphere, um, we come in here and we choose a name. So I'll just put this uh, KT demo. We choose the vCenter. Uh, I'll choose a host a data store, CPU memory, uh, instantly power on the VM. Uh, and for migrating the data drive, so basically um, with Vs for Virtual Boot leveraging VIO filter, uh, we instantly power on the machine and then transparently backfill directly into the data store. So there's going to be no requirement for a vMotion at a later time, which is really cool. So I click Recover. I'll jump straight over to vSphere so you can see there's the machine there just being created. We're now waiting on VMware to configure the machine and then power it on. So in terms of ShadowSafe, the recovery is done. Uh, we're just waiting for VMware to finalize the process and power the machine on now, and we can see that is done. So extremely quick. It does not matter how large the machine is. It takes just that amount of time every time, which is really cool. And again, just taking a quick look at that restore job, we can see there um, at 8.57 a.m., 17 split seconds, I clicked recover. And then by 31 split seconds, it was already uh, cleaning up. So, uh, you know, you're talking just over 10 split seconds to do that recovery, which is really cool. Now, let's go and do that same process again. Uh, this time, uh, I'll select the same physical server, uh, the same recovery point, but we'll go and choose uh, virtual boot into Hyper-V. So again, uh, we'll give a name, KT Demo. Select a Hyper-V host 2019. This is a Hyper-V 2019 server I'm on right here. One CPU, four gig RAM. Uh, and again, I'll untick the migration uh, to the data because what's really cool is that obviously for testing, um, we don't have to do a full restore. We can just instantly boot. So I can see that VM has already been created. Um, and within just another second or two, uh, we should see that machine powering on. So very much the same experience as VMware very, very fast, instant recovery of any physical or virtual machine directly into your preferred hypervisor. If you'd like to learn more about ShadowSafe or request evaluation, please check out our website or get in touch with your local Storage Craft representative.